Even the drums off key. It seems, like, doesn't it? Is that possible? <laughs> Is that even possible? Yes. Okay. We just heard it. Here it comes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's special. That's special. Thank you. And of course, this all means it's time to chew the fat. <laughs> Thank you. We ever let it Thank go you. that long? Well, I don't know, but it's that's horrific. incredible that they held it that long. <laughs> that's very special. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate it. You're happy I mean, to do it. I hope you're doing okay now. I mean, I'm thawed out now mm-hmm. uh, from the from 81 the yesterday. 81 uh, I'm good in here Texas. Now in Texas, but you know, I went for some food supplies on Sunday evening, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and this was the dairy department uh, oh. when I went shopping on Sunday night. Yeah, I, I've noticed uh, that this, the stores are still. I stood there screaming, Where is Ted Cruz? Uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> Waiting right? for an answer. Well, clearly, he's in Cancun. Thank you. Otherwise, the <laughs> store shelves will be stocked. Thank you. Hmm. So, Without so, Ted in the state, there was nobody to stock the show. I bet there's milk in Cancun. So angry. I bet, bet there is. So I'll bet you're right. Hmm. Keith. Maybe somebody, if, if you're listening in Cancun, send us a photo <laughs> of your store shelves. Leche. Got to be full. Got to be. Got to be full. And, I, you know, just a side note on Ted Cruz. I know he's busy out uh, doing the rounds of, uh, he's pissed at the neighbors now because mm-hmm. there was a report that, uh, you know, his wife had said, hey, come to take Cancun with us. And he's saying, hey, you know, don't be rude. He was saying these are the same neighbors that we talked to and had Beto O'Rourke signs up in the neighborhood that I didn't give him a hard time about. And you know what? You brought it on yourself, Ted. You shouldn't have apologized. So mm-hmm. move on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, live with it, pal. You brought it on yourself. No thing. matter no matter what he does now, no matter how much water he delivers, no mm-hmm. matter how much good he does, mm-hmm. it's never going to be enough. No matter how many puppies he saves, it doesn't it matter. Doesn't, doesn't matter what he does. Doesn't now. matter. Yeah, I don't care. So I'm sorry. I, I'm on your side, but you should never have apologized. Should have just stayed. There. I'm mm-hmm. sorry that you were a snowbird going down south in the winter. Yeah. What humans do. That's unprecedented. <laughs> Nobody's ever done it before. <laughs> right. He was yeah. the first person to ever go south in the in the winter. <laughs> that'll when it was that'll teach you to be a pioneer, Mr. Cruz. Right? That's just <laughs> agonizing. Other than that question. Would people be pissed if he'd gone to Montana? <laughs> it was it was colder. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't probably. Probably because he just because it was no, they, it was about him leaving the mm-hmm. state. They right? wouldn't have found out because no one's on a flight to Montana. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. Not this time of year, that's for no. sure. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the airlines are like, no, we don't even go there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. seasonal destination. Uh, other than that question, I also want to know um, who died and made Bill Gates the all-knowing, all-seeing soothsayer from the on high. Seriously, because I see him quoted everywhere now mm-hmm. about about every everything. Yep. Climate I mean, change, uh, vaccines. He's not. I know he's not the richest person on the planet anymore. So right. I mean, he is he's the not. largest farmland owner, owner. in the United States. Uh-huh. Two hundred and forty-two thousand acres. That's concerning. Um, What's that about? I know. Uh, I see where uh, he's out hawking a new book, "How to Avoid a Climate Disaster." Oh, of course. Which uh, you know, it's got to be great reading. <sighs> And he says that all rich countries should move to 100% synthetic beef. Ugh. You first. You yeah. first, Bill. You can get used to the taste difference. Ugh. Can they're, you? They're going to make it even taste better in time. So just get sure. used to it. Right now, yes, it tastes like a uh, Dow chemical plant. <laughs> but uh, in time, it'll only taste like you're in a portion of the Dow chemical plant. Eliminate Not all the entire plant. Uh-huh. Eliminate all greenhouse gas in 30 years or else the world will be five times worse than the pandemic. Okay. Uh, which governments which says it was should avoid pandemic. relying too much on their reinforcements. They should not rely on charities. Uh, slams Bitcoin. Yeah. He slammed cryptocurrencies. Be good to get rid of that. Uh, cryptocurrency allows for a certain criminal activities. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, nobody... Nobody traffics in uh, criminal dollars. No, yeah, nobody no. does that. No. <laughs> so. you, you know, you know what else uh, <laughs> works in that department is uh, illegal aliens that you can't track because they don't have uh, social security number and mm-hmm. uh, 
Mm-hmm. Anyway, we can continue well, down this road. Mm-hmm. Because they're, they're going to get the Social Security numbers, no problem, and get the health care and everything they need. Mm-hmm. Uh, according to their uh, Bill Gates Foundation, I'm sorry, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, uh, if you teach your students of color the right way to do math, you're reinforcing white supremacy culture. So we should just, teach them the wrong way? That's correct. Because whites don't do it the wrong that, way? That's correct. Just a okay. reminder, this is just a week in quotes from Bill yes. Gates that Jeffy is sharing yes. here. The man is out of control on well, all fronts. All I want him to do is just go back to drinking from the poop water <laughs> that he's creating and <laughs> leave us alone. That's all I want. Did you see this, he's, Pat? He's just, he's just, <laughs> oh, oh he's big just sip. Drink, was that, was that sewage poop treatment? It was water. poop. He yeah, just drank water, water that he's, came he's out got of He's got a part of his foundation in <sighs> Senegal, I think, is they're creating this machine that Look at uh, this. Makes, Look at this. That makes and I'll tell you uh, something, that's, sip. that's big laudable. Sip. That's good. That's yes, a great it is. thing. I love that. Yes, it is. It's I the Janicki Omni Processor is what it's called. It is, and, it's, and, you know, that it's absolutely great. But leave us alone on yeah. the rest of the Thank stuff. Thank you. Okay, Thank guys, you. I don't know. You first Mind your own again. business. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You, you drink the poop. And he did. You, and he did. did. So that's yeah. great. Speaking of human waste <laughs> drinking, though, uh, for four <laughs> days, a British woman no. and her four children no. gulped down their own urine. No. Uh, why, you ask? No. Uh, as why, be- be- I asked. Because uh, I was believing that it would protect them from COVID-19. You answered. And uh, according to the story, <laughs> oh no, she told officials she was convinced to drink her pee. He by- continued. By a trusted friend or relative. He intoned. So, who I guess served as the mom's source of pandemic related news. Said Jeff. I don't even, I don't even know if the story is real. Um, he exclaimed. <laughs> Did she get a, 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 an email from a Nigerian prince that convinced her? I think her so. <laughs> Plus, in the story, it talks about her. Uh, the mom cited a debunked conspiracy theory involving Bill and Melinda Gates. Jeffy mocked. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't say what happened to the lady or the children. I'm done. So the, st- <laughs> so the story, I don't even believe is real. I think oh. it's just a story that they've thrown out there to tell you that there's no cures for COVID-19. Oh, okay. Nothing All has right. been clinically proven to prevent it except for the uh, vaccine. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and we can't do, of course, without mentioning that Trump told people to ingest bleach to combat the virus. We, I, I, uh, we can't do the story right, yeah, without yeah. mentioning that. So I'm sure, I don't even know That's if the right. story is real. Because mm-hmm. there's there's no they didn't ending to that? the story. Oh, yeah, then it's not legitimate. I know. That's just <laughs> insane. All right. Uh, Got to take a minute and tell you about uh, something very important here. Do you know that uh, Kamala Harris just sold a home for $800,000 in uh, San Francisco? So you're wow. thinking, oh, that's nice. She bought the home in 2004 for 489000 and then sold it for eight hundred. <laughs> dollars She made a tiny little profit there. Wait, wait, wait. And bad. there's... the. It's one of those. Wow, that is. <laughs> oh, that is. Wow. What a beautiful, beautiful. Look at what 800000 gets you in San Francisco. Come on now. Wow. That's despicable that it's 800000 for that. I mean, you can wash the windows, man. You know what you can get in Texas for $800,000? Oh, oh. Come down here and, well, if, if you're conservative. <laughs> if you're not, you can, you get something smaller than this oh, that's man. rat infested. In fact, if you're a liberal, that's what I'll you get. I'll sell yeah. you. <laughs> I'll sell you a house in Texas that size for 800000 Wow. Right now. Right? Uh, all right. <laughs> Hey, I just want to remind everyone watching and listening to subscribe to my daily podcast, uh, Chewing the Fat, available wherever you get your podcasts, mm-hmm. uh, like iTunes, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Spotify. Speaking of Spotify, uh, Barack Obama, you, yeah. you know him, you love him. This is a weird and, pair. Uh, Bruce Springsteen, Uh huh. you know him, you love him. No, I don't. Am I right? I don't love that's, either one of them. You are wrong I, on both that's, accounts. That's what yeah. I thought. Uh, are launching a podcast on Spotify together. At a bar. From the Higher Ground Production Company, that is Michelle and Barack Obama's company, Renegades, Mm -hmm. born in the USA. It's a joint venture, and Mr. Obama, the former president of the United States, reflects on the strife caused by the pandemic and racial injustice in America and how the country can find our way back to a more unifying story. Can you imagine how agonizing it would be <laughs> to listen to that garbage? <laughs> it's oh. gonna, agonizing? You mean it's going to be great, uh, is what you mean. That's two people uh, I don't care for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I got no love lost for 
either either one, one of them. Either one of them. But I know Bruce has his court date today mm-hmm. for his DWI uh, in Jersey. Mm-hmm. And it's a Zoom call, so put your clothes on, Bruce. Um, mm. And I don't care, when, you know, obviously it doesn't matter to me what happens, but he really, reading about the case, mm-hmm. he should, uh, he should, that should be dismissed and be gone. They're probably going to have him just pay Why? a fine and be done with it. Why should it be dismissed? Because, uh, Pat. He drove drunk. No, he didn't. He was at a national park. Yeah. All right. Where he's, what mm-hmm. the fine is going to be is for, he was charged with uh, DWI, reckless right. driving. And consuming alcohol in a closed area. Okay, so he admitted to having a couple of shots with fans mm-hmm. taking pictures off his oh, so, motorcycle. So it's important as to who you're drinking with when you yes. drive. I see. He, okay. And he wasn't driving. Huh. He told the officer he asked him, driving? "Are you are you going to ride your motorcycle out of the park?" And Bruce was like, "Yeah." So they gave him a reckless driving ticket before he did on it. On top of that, and his oh, blood alcohol weird. content was zero point zero two. You have to have is 0. 0.08. Under, okay, hold yeah. on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is, is in your story when the officer had him count or walk how walk. many steps? 18. Okay, yeah, okay. The, the officer told him to walk 18, but he walked 45. <laughs> we can't follow directions. Obviously <laughs> drunk. <laughs> Obviously a drunk Obviously. out of his mind. Yeah. Plus, he's 71, so over 70, that uh, test doesn't even count. What now? Over uh, as a um, an elderly person mm-hmm. uh, over seventy, the uh, walking thing doesn't even count. It's, Jeez. You're not even supposed to count that. Oh wow! Springsteen seventy one. I know. That's the most depressing fact of this whole yeah. story. Yeah, I know. It is. That's Goodness. for sure. I mean, I can't stand it, but you're right. That's come on nonsense. Now. Come on. Come on. He, if you're under the legal limit, what, what do you even? Well, well the officer said he smelled like alcohol and so his what? eyes were glassy. Yeah, and it doesn't I think matter. the officer and he admitted. He said, "Yeah, I took a couple of drinks at uh, shots of tequila with these fans here." Yeah, and that and took that, some mm, pictures. That glassy-eyed test does not work. I had a friend that got in trouble mm. with a cop once. Yeah, it's called allergies, officer. Uh he had not had a sip of anything. Mm. And you can't be looking at the eyes. That does nothing for you. I mean, Bruce was just being nice and saying, "Yeah, I had a couple of drinks with some fans here." And the cop was just being, you know, Mm-hmm. You know how police are. Yeah. Courageous. <laughs> Wait, no. You know how police uh, are. Now nah, you know how they are. Yeah. Those, Noble. Those, those damn park rangers. <laughs> 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 if you were in uh, Washington, D.C. on Monday, uh, you uh, probably heard... Uh... Hmm. That is the... Uh, Washington National Cathedral uh, banging their bell 500 times. They rang their bells for the lives lost no, from sir. COVID-19. No. Oh, there's uh, more than we, 500. Why didn't they do it 500 Because we crossed them. I should have done it 500. <laughs> Heat math right there. Times. What are you, lazy? You lazy <laughs> <Right>. bastards. <laughs> if you're going to do it, do it right. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, <laughs> and in a proclamation, uh, you know, of course, President Biden So they ordered, don't care about 499,000 no, 500, 500 people? Yeah. No, they do how not. How long did it take them to ring it 500 times? I don't know, 18 minutes or something like that. I'm not sure how long. <laughs> but, uh, you know, of course, you know, Biden's going to re- lower the flags half mast until friday mm-hmm. and we acknowledge the scale of this mass death in america we remember each person in the life they lived yes we do and it's sad yeah. and i'm sorry that we've yeah. lost all those lives i just uh you know it's all horrible but i i just wonder if the washington national cathedral has ever swung those bells for the lives lost due to abortion oh. huh. i just wonder if they've ever yeah. rung those bells now maybe they have yeah, Maybe they, they have, it. and it just hasn't been reported, uh-huh. you know. Uh-huh. But I just wondered if they've done that to or, bring attention. Yeah, you it's, know, not even something really political like abortion. What about all the lives lost from the flu over the last <laughs> 10 years? Let's bang the bell once for every life lost from the flu. This is just, come on. I know. Come on. I know. It's just, uh, it's really Despicable really how politicizing I know. they are. How much do we have time for, uh, I see where uh, employees at uh, Israel's National Sea Turtle Rescue Center <clears throat> mm-hmm. are treating endangered uh, green sea turtles uh, with uh, mayonnaise. Say that again? And, uh, with mayonnaise. So they, found, uh, they found that the mayonnaise, uh, if they shove it down their throat, it cleans all their insides out. So it cleans all the tar out. 
So apparently they had what? turtles show up from an, a tar, you know, an oil spill. Mm-hmm. And they had tar all over them, and the way to get rid of the tar inside the turtles is to feed, is them, to feed mayonnaise. them mayonnaise. I don't know what that tells me so about mayonnaise. I remember back in 1982. Mm-hmm. What if you mix mayonnaise right in the can with the tuna? Fish? Oh, love that. <laughs> wait, wait, Call Star Kissed. <laughs> love this. I love Take this. Take the tuna fish and uh, feed them mayonnaise. Right, right. This is good. <laughs> well, you. So we're you soon. Drop the punchline. Call Star, Call Star Kissed. Kissed. Yeah, which makes it funny at the end. I, there. Nah, it's funnier to hear you say whatever. it though. All right, that's what people are tuning in. Call Star Kissed. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>